So I'm really excited to release our batch six. Uh, this one uh, is gonna be a unique one in that we have taken the uh, last remaining drops of the previous five batches, uh, also known as uh, the Devil's Cut, and we're adding that to the batch for this six batch. Like all of our other previous batches, we use three distinctive mash bills. Uh, two of those have corn, malted barley, and rye, and one of those has corn, malted barley, and wheat. Uh, the age on the barrels that we used in this tank uh, were 18, seven, nine, and five years. So 17, 18 years old, the bourbon's been resting in these barrels and we're just now harvesting. So uh, a lot of character, a lot of age, a lot of depth and flavor. I'm really um, anxious to release it out into the market come April. But adding in this devil's cut, which is an accumulation of several barrels, uh, really is gonna add a nice complexity and finish on it. And I think the, the batch six is, is gonna set itself up to be uh, one that perhaps stands out from the others. Over about a month, month and a half ago, we're at 118 proof, straight out the barrel. It was a five-year rye, a selection of five-year corn, malted barley, and rye in the mash bill. I call them rye-based bourbons. And so that started the base of our batch. And over the past six weeks, we're slowly dropping down that proof. And as you slowly drop the proof down, different flavor components start to emerge. Where it was really hot and spicy on the front end, uh, now it's starting to mellow out. Some of these nice, lighter characteristics are starting to come together. A notable difference from our previous batches, and in particular batch three and four, is that we're pulling the bourbon from the barrels right after the coldest part of the year. Whereas in the summer, it's expanding into the wood. This time of year is contracted, uh, evolved another season of character. And I'm really liking, in general, our entire portfolio of barrels, how, how they're tasting in the winter versus, let's say, in the heat of the summer. So that may be something that a lot of consumers may not be aware of, but you know, from season to season, the, the liquid in these barrels are evolving and they are picking up different characteristics depending on Yes, the temperature, but what the temperature creates is pressurization. This increased pressure is driving liquid deep into the wood, and then when there's not as much pressure, it's contracting again, which is what's going on this time of year. Well, here's what you can expect with our batch six. One, we're releasing it on April 9th of this year, which I'm really excited about. It's gonna be a great day of festivities. Uh, two, it's the lowest bottle yield that we've had of any of our batches. So we're yielding 1,300 bottles. There's about 200 less than some of our previous batches. So the rarest of the small batches we put together to date. And three, complexity. We've taken months of pulling together this Devil's Cut project to bring into this batch. And so I think that is that added depth and character is gonna be something that I think the customer base is really going to appreciate and enjoy on this batch.